Welcome fellow RimRims and other viewers of RimWorld who would like to remain unaffiliated. Today, it is time. Tiny feral teddy bear cracks open Pandora's box very slowly. Could you really not have bought all of that in one go? Tiny feral teddy bear opens Pandora's box for our viewing entertainment. Now, as I was loading into the game today, I had a kind of epiphany. I had a vision of an altar of Pandora, a grand church made out of Arcotech and Jade. No. Every wall is a different material. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, I hate that idea already. And we will have a great church of chaos. Yeah, well, I mean, welcome to the channel, basically. Oh, prioritize tending. No, no, no. Open the box, magic man. Here we go. What could it be? Could be anything. It could be a mad emu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected from opening Pandora's box. Migration of huge animals. Huge migration of animals. It's rats. It's just rats. Is that it? Hello? Grasshopper? <laughs> what's, that? what's the name of that dog? It's, uh, it's like, a, like a golden retriever. <laughs> Red Grasshopper. Deep Sleeper Rebel. I will not take anybody ever with Deep Sleeper trait. Slothful Jogger Snob. Super mean, fun-loving, big-boned. Hello. Uh, underground perfectionist or... Who are you people? You as well. Very intimidating. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, careful. Best robbery? Tamed. They've got mining skill. Mining skill. We're digging up so much buried treasure and, well, everything we ever need for this colony right now, which is uh, an abundance of steel. We've got a lot of treasure chests I want to crack open too, which we'll do in a second. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, what was our, what's our emu then? Oh, okay. I mean, I probably won't worry about it given we've got some pretty... High-powered turrets out the front. Oh, and apparently everybody's just out there anyway, hanging out. Executed with impunity. Good work, Dr. Joris. That's it. Have a nice meal. <laughs> oh, what a lovely place for it. Altar. Some sort of giant altar. We could build a bridge across here, and we could turn this area into kind of Pandora's sacred ground. Ooh, I like it. Overlooking the immortal prison. Those blessed by Pandora. Randomly immortal is pretty high tier. Oh, I do like this. Hold on. What have we got to build out of? What, what can we build walls out of? Jewels? Oh. Ah, yes. Build complete. Make ATST main blaster cannon. <laughs> oh, I mean... Oh, you know I've got to try it. You know I've got to try it. Okay, Uber Chad. Show us what you've got. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's not as powerful as I thought it would be. Um... I mean, he is quite literally ripping a hole in a mountain right now. Oh, okay. Uh, they used to be, like, really crazy overpowered. I mean, they're still pretty pretty strong, actually. 69% armor penetration. But the problem is it does just look like a big box. Honestly, I kind of like the visual of a tiny teddy bear carrying a giant minigun. Oh. Uh. Uber Chad? I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drop it. It's welded to him. Oh, no. I told him to pick up the minigun. It disappeared. We can't drop his... Oh, what have I done? Uber Chad's welded to this friggin' blaster cannon. Well, I think it's safe to assume with a name like that, they're probably not a trade caravan. The Friends of Torment. Oh, no. Wild man, watch out. Holy crap. That's a pirate raid? Holy shit. Um... Well, they're not super, super powerful. I mean, they do have some rocket launchers there. We do have some power armor kicking around, too. Okay. Uh, everybody, please wake up. Please tell me we've got anything better than a bow and arrow. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we do. A scout blaster. Fine. Sold. It's got to be better, right? I mean, it's a legendary bow and arrow, though. No, it's just a regular short bow. Zevin Wolf, you fucking fool. We've got all these legendary weapons. This man's carrying around a fucking regular old shortbow. Oh! My god, he's got a full-on assault rifle. You are a... You are a moron. You are a fucking moron. Get out of here. He's got the weakest weapon. Simpleton John. Oh. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we, we, had, this, we had this discussion yesterday. Here they come. Okay. Let's go defensive positions. Two are going to try and dig through the wall at the top by the looks of it. Man attacking steel large bin. Not my bin. No, they've decided to... I have no idea. No, they're going the same way as the others. They just thought they'd split up because that will make things better. Sheev has sent it himself. Here we go. Let's see what Uber Chad with an ATST gun welded onto him can do. 
I want to see some damage from that, my friend. Holy crap. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> we might want to thicken up these walls. Uh, especially because this is the one area where we can actually build thick walls because it's solid ground. Holy crap. Yeah, we also need to put sandbags on the other side so they don't just do exactly what they're doing right now and stand and use the walls as cover. Kind of defeats the point a little bit. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Watch out for the guy with the rocket launcher. Other than that, we should be fine here. Christ, we're annihilating them. How's the ammo on that thing? I think it was just like a rocket launcher, right? Yeah, it is. Wow, those are powerful. Watch out, Dr. Joris. Taking a little bit of a hit there. Fairy, I need you to take two steps backwards for me. Thank you. That'll do. We've done it. We've got a, we've got a couple of prisoners too. We've got three prisoners. That was a good raid. Hey, to say that we we're up against actual pirates there with power armor, rocket launchers, you name it. That was not bad at all. Holy crap. We fucking just wrecked our wall again. Let's upgrade that too. Look, this is going to take a long time to build. Okay. That's the foundations for the church. Uh, we really should probably upgrade this beforehand. Are you any good? Encher Havoc. Animal aficionado. Physically, oh, sorry, psychically there. Frail back, misogynist and nudist. I'm all right. Who else have we got? We've got Nerg. Staggeringly, staggeringly ugly and lush. Threw me off there for a second. Uh, we've got Ash. Fast learner, dog person, greedy, ugly. None of them are very good, are they? Tortured artist, depressive stoner. Tortured artist, nine artistic? I think I'm all right. I'll be honest, I'm not impressed by any of these people. I'm not impressed by any of them. Haul them off to, uh, all them off to the cave, and then we'll melt down the ones that aren't immortal. Chef Smarty, what the hell? <laughs> I was wondering what he was doing. I could smell it from 40 miles away. Oh, what a guy. The smooth, smooth taste of Yeo. Surely we've got a lot of uranium at this point, though, right? We've been mining, yeah, 974. So let's build this external wall out of uranium, because that's famously quite heavy. Uh, let's do something like that. And then I guess we'll keep that block open, keep that block open. Because we, we can't build that. Oh, unless we throw any more fucking bridges. Bridges. Always bridges. Every time with the bridges. And we'll throw a sandbag around that. And that'll stop them standing still on it. They can't just stand behind our walls then and shoot at us. They'll have to come up through. That works fine. I'm all right with that. Ideally. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Ideally, we'd have them filtering through a longer maze as well. I'm going to build a kill box this series. Shit's already hitting the fan a little bit, okay? We're going to do something like that kind of has the same problem though. Let's do something like, um, oh, it's going to cost a lot of uranium. Holy shit. We go raid two of the friends of torment. Bear in mind, these are guys are attacking us, right? Because of the gentle fishing mouse, a little gordo that we've currently got in our freezer. What the hell? <laughs> Take care of my mouse for 15 days. Sure. I'll stuff them in the freezer. So there's roughly three raids and we've got another 3.4 days. So I guess it'll be this one and then immediately another one again. Right. Get in there. Go on, little welded Uber Chad. I'm going to have to give Uber Chad another pair of arms so that he can hold more weapons, seeing as we've uh, basically bricked his first set of arms there, or at least one of his one of his arms. While we're upgrading the kill box, Derek and Fairy got hit with the flu. Oh, how lovely. 7%, 7.2. Okay, so we need to wrap this up fast and get those guys back. To be honest, I might just say go and bed rest right now. I'd rather not risk that while the immunity is, like, so low compared to the actual spread of the disease. I've also hooked up this other turret, so to be honest, we'll probably be fine. And, of course, we've got this new nice little uh, uranium kill box there as well. They're all going to the kill box except for one guy. What are you doing? Throw a Molotov on one wall. I don't fucking think so. Ah, uh, Derek, Derek, Derek. I know I sent you back to bed, friend. Uh, I mean, you're apparently not doing that anyway. Oh, shit. Of course, I took away the fucking gate. Derek is now officially on firefighter duty. Let's just follow this guy around and make sure that we're... Make sure that we're putting that out as he starts lighting things on fire. Ah, my walls! Uber Chad, go. Go, go, go. They can, they can handle that. That's an entire kill box worth of, worth of people fighting there. Right, uh, Dr. Jarvis, help out Uber Chad. Is Evan Wolf? Stay on the kill box, stay on the kill box, stay on the kill box. God, what a mess. Thank God we started upgrading our walls because it turns out the AI's gotten, uh... Gone decently smart, eh? Yeah, they're really holding it down at the kill box. Let's bring Zem Wolf over. Chef Smarty head over to that side. He's going to be out of cover briefly. Honestly, I'd rather try and force a retreat. Hang on, that worked fine. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Is this guy now going to leave? Good, good, good. Okay, we're fine. That guy was obviously part of the same group, so that's all we needed to do there. Is that it? We good? Holy crap. Right, now we've got to rebuild the kill box again. Oh, no. 
It actually worked. Uh, if you can't quite tell, I've given him another blaster cannon uh, in his other hand. <laughs> oh, Uber Chad, I'm so sorry. What have I done to you, my friend? Good old boxman Uber Chad. Uh, and those, I assume, are just like permanently welded on as well. Like they're both. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're there to stay. We need some new arms for Uber Chad. We can't remove the weapons. We'll just put on new arms. I assume he's like devastating now, though. Yeah, it's basically just doubled his fire rate, hasn't it? That is just absurd. Brace yourself. It's time for the new patch. What have we got? Ah, Rimworld version 1.18374. Killer. Released on the 7th of September, 5305. Agave. Now yield for more. They are quicker to grow and have more hit points. Actually, might not be a bad crop to grow then. Acacia trees are way less sensitive to fertility. Oh, who really cares about that? They give more, give way more wood. Actually, that could be quite valuable. Okay, don't worry about that then. Animal cells. I don't even know what that is. Pear trees. Far less nutrition. Energy bolts. Damage amount base change from 13 to 1. Oh, that's a bit of a concern. Okay. Stopping power change from 0 0.5 to 1.27. I sure as hell hope that the energy bolts aren't made by the things that we've just welded to Uber Chad. Otherwise, he's gone from S-tier colonist to F-tier colonist. We're going to have to send him into headbutt people at this point. Well, if you want to tame an agrarapod, they are way less wild, but way harder to tame in the first place. Sentry guns are way heavier and take far longer to fire. And devil sheeps now weigh far more. That's it. Nothing nothing to worry about again, to be honest with you. Wow, that was like a quite a plant heavy one, wasn't it? Uh, well, we've got that. Agave, acacia, pear, and with two animals as well. Okay, energy bolts. Uber Chad, show me. Show me your arms. What have you got? Please. Energy bolt, energy bolt, energy bolt. 46. That's fine. What about this one? 46. We're fine. We're good. They fire the same thing. Okay. Okay. That's fine. What the hell makes an energy bolt then? Uh, let me take a look through some of these guns, see if I can track it down. Don't think it's that. It only does one damage, though, which is a bit of a concern. Uh, no, that's got 100 and... It's got 1.5% armor penetration. Oh, shit. Hang on, maybe it was that. 1.5%. It was a microwave emitter. Of course it's not going to have armor penetration. I have no idea. It wasn't any of the Star Wars guns anyway. So I haven't got anything to worry about there. One thing I also took note of when I was looking through that is, um, we've got these kind of three blaster cannons, right? So speeder main blaster cannon, uh, 46 damage, 69% armor penetration, you know, all that good stuff. There is one big difference between that one and this one. I don't know if you can tell which one that is. Uh, but apparently the ATST main blaster cannon is usable with shields. I've got to try it. Mechanoid sappers? I assume they're not here for Gordo. Previously cloaked ancient mechanoid assembler has, re has revealed itself mysteriously nearby. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, six siege breakers, a goliath, a demolisher, two pikemen, and a centipede. Okay, those siege breakers alone could probably level us. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Uber Chad does have 69% nice armor penetration, so we could send him in. I mean, this is horrible. Uh, luckily, the siege breakers are incredibly slow, so maybe we could pick off the regular mechs first. I say regular mechs as if that thing's a regular mech. Crab bell. Ah! <laughs> Give me that drug slab. Give me that goddamn drug slab. Right, I'm making panoxylene. Where is it? Give me that. Uh, what does that stop? That stops malaria, right? Uh, sleeping sickness and plague. Yeah, I thought so. Give me, give me, give me the whole thing. Give me all of that. Do until, do until X or X is 50. We need uh, neutramine. How do we make neutramine? Uh, hmm. We do have advanced, uh, hang on. We have vanilla mechanisms expanded, don't we? So eventually we'll be able to make a neutramine maker. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye out for traders. Uh, oh! It's, this fucking, it's, it's decided we've had enough of playing remote, I think. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's just decided, no, you're having too much fun. This is over. Please kill it. How is it this powerful? Okay. There's one down. We've only got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I swear there's more siege breakers than that. Oh, no, that's two stacked up. We've only got another nine more to go. Okay, it can see us there. Let's come to this side then. Did everybody come to this side? Problem is they can use potentially our own cover against us. Maybe you can... Oh, just run out of ammo. Of course it would. I was say maybe that thing could at least take out the centipede, but no. Brilliant. Well, goodbye shard sentry. 
Okay. Good luck. Uh, the seeds are... Oh, my God. We're done. It's over. It's over. Game over. Maybe they'll kill one another. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan. It's a good plan if it works. If it doesn't work, Uber Chad dies. But to be honest, I think Uber Chad is going to die either way, given current... Yeah, actually, no. You know what? That's probably the best place to stand. Given current scenario. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. I've got an idea. We're going to go and send Uber Chad in. Shoot the turret. Where's the turret? Why are you down? What happened, Floyd? Blackout. Let's... Oh, my God. What, what happened to you, Kendig? Blackout. What's happening to these people? Hang on. They're all pissed drunk. <laughs> Rum rum. Not rum rum. <laughs> go, flank. Go, 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 go. We can't hit him from there. Flank, flank, flank. Fairy, flank. Fairy's laser gun is going to be actually pretty good for taking out mechs here. Oh, God. Watch out, John. Get behind some cover. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Okay, Dr. Joris. Is he okay? He's very much not okay. He's had a whole lung destroyed. Self tend. Just honestly, just go patch yourself up. Uh, You know what? You can patch up your lung mid-combat. That'd be big dick energy. Do it. How are we looking on that centipede? Can we get everybody seven wolves down? Seven hours. Fine. Uh, do that. You go for... You can just about hit. Go for that. Oh, but smack you's weapon is garbage though, is it not? Fairy, come forward. You come back a tad bit. Let's, let's try and keep a little bit of an air gap here, people. Right, you go there. Can you not hit? You still can't hit. Push forward. Push forward. We need this laser. Go. Kill. Come on. Come on. Come on. 35. 35. How's uh, Uber Chad? Uber Chad, go. Uber Chad, go. Oh! Oh, my God. He's fine. Oh, my God. He's providing an incredible distraction. His services, Colin, it will not be forgotten. Come on. Centipede's almost down. Centipede's almost down. Nice. Come on. I thought he was going to die to that stun effect then, but it's still alive. This is actually insane. Dr. Joris, how's it going? You patched up that lung yet? God knows how we managed that on the battlefield. <laughs> you know, Dr. Joris isn't uh, actually medically accredited. But after this, he just might be. Uh, go stabilize them, Wolf. The Goliath's dead, too. Outstanding play. Chef Smarty, Derek, Simpleton, John. Let's get down here. Let's go take out those... Let's go take out those Lancers. Fairy. All ass. Chef Smarty's going to have to tend to Fairy, I think, if we're in for a chance of survival here. Okay, Siege Breakers then. Six of them left. Siege itself. Mm, potentially dangerous to send him in, but they are all still drunk, aren't they? Yeah, no, they are. They are completely gone. This is either big brain play or ex extremely bad. This is either extremely bad idea or big brain. There's no middle ground. Kill it. Kill it. One more shot. Uber Chad. Oh! <laughs> Throw a bit of a smoke screen there. Uh, I don't think they'll build another one, will they? Shit. Okay, okay. Are they going to do anything or are we... Are we good? So now we can take out the Siege Breakers. Who's still okay? Nobody. We've all got some form of awful disease. Smack you's the only one up on his feet. Grab a gun. Grab a gun. Chef Smarty's okay as well. Okay, between Smack you and Chef Smarty, I bet we could take out these... Uh... I honestly bet we could take out the rest of these guys. You guys go have a day off. What was that? Was that just a regular shot? I genuinely thought it was these fucking siege breakers. Okay, Uber Chad, run. Are they going to do anything? They've got a sky steel mortar. You know what? Let's take that out quickly. I don't know if they just started building that, whether the template hadn't gone down yet. Quick, 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 quick. Is Derek okay to keep fighting? How's that flu looking? 4253. You know what? Carry on. You're okay. He's got a revolver, but it's an explosive revolver. Right, nice. Get in there. As far as I recall, these siege breakers do still hurt at close range, as in melee. But they can't shoot this close. Uh, why don't we kill him, though? Because he almost certainly can stealth the way down there. Little shit, as if I wouldn't see you. They're shooting at the... <laughs> Some of them we need to leave because they're actually shooting at the... Uh... They're doing my job for me. They're killing off the uh, the other sieges. Fantastic. Right, bring that down. That might force an assault, at which point the other mechanoids can fight one another. What are you shooting at? I think they're shooting down there. Look. Attacking Jameson Quack. Jameson Quack. Jameson Quack. It's just these three we need to take out. Then, the, then our problem solves itself. Wolf, Seven Wolf is actually fine. Okay, Dr. Jarris. Get him home. The other one I was concerned about was Fairy. Six hours. Yeah, see, that's not that's not good. 
That's not ideal. Chef Smarty really helping out very much there. Is this weapon good against mechanoids? Armor penetration? 35%. Oh, I suppose it's better than nothing. They've changed direction. Okay, Ubercheck, get in there. Oh! Okay. I thought it was probably better to start moving. Low shield? Well, this is this is obviously artillery, so that unfortunately won't help. Shit, these are so fucking strong. Chef Smarty, I'm actually going to have to get him out of here so we can start tending to people. I don't think he's helping out that much. I mean, anybody is helping out, but that's not... It's not good enough to start gambling the lives of our people for, hey? What's happening to Dr. Joris? Who is this? Krognad. Who the fucking hell is Krognad? Uh, Joris. Joris? Kill that man. Zevon Wolf's up. He's helping Joris. I'll rip you another nose hole. Get, fucking shoot him, Joris. Good God, man. Uh, uh, axe, axe, axe. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Lobador. I'm... Uh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Smarty. Smarty, get in there. Don't kidnap... Unbelievable. Is he going down? Freaking just need... There might have been our guy just saying that then. Go, 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 go. And kill him, kill him. Actually, let's get a little bit closer first. You're probably running gun. Oh, God. Someone just got hit then. We're right. Left Leku. Just ripped off, eh? That's like his, uh, it's like his tentacle. Oh, it's fine. It just took a bit of damage. But other than that, he's fine. Right, let's move here. Try and get a little bit closer still. Fuck. This has been horrendous. <laughs> this has been so aggressive. <laughs> What's a colony wealth like? Just out of pure cure. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. All right, fair enough. Kind of my fault. I mean, it's just playing the game, but it is kind of my fault still. But also, Joris and Zevon Wolf are fine. They've just been bruised. Fairy, though, is on death's door. Already tending. Four hours. We're not going to lose anybody here today. Trust me. I'm not losing a single person. Send me, send me three raids and mechanoid sieges. I won't lose anyone. Is it the last one? What about this? <laughs> They're all just passed out drunk. <laughs> or dead. They might actually be dead in hindsight. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's all of them. Correct. That's all the mechanoids, at least. Let's get them patched up as soon as possible. We need to get treatment going here. We need to get treatment for all these bloody diseases. Draft the other doctors, then. Oh, my God. It's all of our good doctors that are out, except for Chef Smarty. Shit. Um, we don't need everybody on Surgeon. Dr. Joris and Derek. Dr. Joris, Derek, Zevon Wolf. I'm actually going to put on self 10 to help out just where they can here. Uh, Joris, Joris, Zevon, uh, Zevon Wolf. Uh, Smarty. Okay, we're good. This is fine. Uber Chad, Dr. Smack you. Three hours. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Oh, has he got like a big injury? Uh, not really, but he should be able to... No! Ah, okay. Uh, now we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, shit. Um, right. You need to then, as fast as you can, stabilize smack you. Oh, shit. Derek's fighting Uber Chad. Someone's got an infection. Uber Chad. Of course he would. Well, those two have snapped out of it, which is something. Right. How's he doing? Six hours. One condition intended. Get him out there. Get him out there. Go, go, go. Bring him home. Okay. Chef Smarty, self-tend, for God's sake. Tending to smack you. What about your... Oh, he's already tended. He's already tended. It's okay. Uber Chad self-tending. That's fine. I know the infection isn't very good here with Uber Chad tending it. It's better than nothing, right? And then we've just got to bank on maybe getting some big Glutisette medicine plays. We haven't got any Glutisette medicine. Uh, what have we got here? No, it's just hundreds of herbal medicine. I suppose it's fine. What about that siege? They're just really not doing anything. Fine. Schedule then. Do whatever you want. Honestly, don't try and work. Bed rest, tend. I don't really care. Please don't waste your time tending to the immortals. That's very illegal. Right. Go and tend to someone more important. Dr. Joris is out. How are we looking? Dr. Joris is actually not going to die. Derek has the flu. Still, obviously. Uh, 5365. Uber Chad. Infection. Minor. You have plague, minor. What's Uber Chad's infection like? Obviously, he's only just tended it, but 6%. 12% spread. Fuck. Uh, you are 37% immunity, 42% spread on the plague. Fuck me. Uh, smack you. Smack you? How are you doing? Fine. Zevon Wolf, fine. Uh, let's just check Ferry and Henry then. You've got... Well, I mean, Henry doesn't really matter either because he's <laughs> he's got bigger problems. 30, 53% and 56. And then Henry is flu, see, sleeping sickness and sensory mechanites and no legs and he's hungry. Oh, shit. We've got 55, 71. He's fine. 7.39% of the sleeping sickness. I don't like remote anymore. I've changed the settings on pharmacist as well to prioritize any high tier treatment. Like certain things like cuts won't be treated with medicine unless they are like a high injury. I decided at this point, honestly, just go for it. Can we make any better medicine at all right now? Because it could genuinely save someone's life here. 
Uh, Derek, any chance of... No, we've got no Neutramine at all. We've got Neutramine plants. I mean, obviously, it's not going to grow in time, but it will be good for the future. What the hell's going on there? Hey? <laughs> we need a trade ship. We need a trade ship, like, urgently. Oh, fuck. Smack you. Okay, uh, Chef Smarty, he's going to throw his own life away here. 48, 44. You know what? He can take two seconds out to contend to someone's infection. We might have to start chopping off limbs. Oh, fuck off. Another one. And he's a lung. That's a bit more of a problem. You're joking. Fairy. Infection. In her right arm. All of these are things we can chop off if needs be. Dr. Joris is tending to himself. Dr. Joris is back up. Okay, that's good. Great self-tend on the plague there from Chef Smarty. Okay, as long as he gets plenty of bed rest, he should be fine. This has just been... <laughs> this has just been insane. Playing fucking darts? You are literally dying. You are actually fucking dying, and you've gone to play darts, you pillock. But to put it into perspective, red on the disease symbol means that the disease is more severe than the immunity. So in this case, both Uber Chad and Chef... Smiley could die. Uh, smack you. Orange means it's... Uh, sorry, yellow means it's within safe margin, but not very good. So you got 19% there, 19% there, 18 19%. So it could go wrong still. Derek, what does green mean? Green means you're within like a good margin, right? 77, 62, 10 inks part in an hour. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, fairy is going to fucking die. I won't lie. Uh, Dr. Joris, you tend to fairy give... Chef Smarty a little bit more time in bed. Uber Chad, you better be fucking resting. He is. He's getting tended by Derek. How's he looking? 43%, 33%. I won't lie. Uber Chad could be in a bit of a, a bad situation here. Henry? I might need you to vacate that bed. What's wrong with this one? Why are you sleeping in a regular bed? We've got a fucking hospital bed. Okay. Now we've just got to hope and fucking pray. Stop that! It's because he's a doctor. Uber Chad, fuck off. Simpleton John. Get out of the bed. You have got not got anything wrong with you. Get out. He's just injured. It's like you can't walk. I'm going to make that medical. Uh, Sorry, prisoners. And then I'm going to move him over to a medical bed. Just because he can't get himself over there. That might help out a little bit. He's actually okay. 73% spread on the plague. 80% on the immunity. 14 on the sleeping sickness. 13 on the immunity. Really, we need to kick Henry out. How's Henry doing? He's, he's pretty much fine, right? This is... This is <laughs> This is just too much. Chef Smarty, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'll honestly kill you myself. What is wrong with them? They're, they're, they're quite literally dying. And they would rather play darts or play the harps. Here's an idea. Lie down. It's fucking bed. Derek? Fairy? Unowned? Fuck it. Here. <laughs> I don't know where everyone's beds are. We need to start decorating these bedrooms at some point. Cannot sleep, not tired enough. I don't care if you're not tired enough. Rest, rest, right. Uh, medical beds. We turn them all into medical beds. Yeah, that's a spare one. Medical bed, go, boom. There you are. This one's spare. Medical, boom. Fucking lie down. Oh my god, a war merchant. Please have some medicine. Please. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's, um. That's something. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Uber Chan, there's a caravan here. They don't sell medicine, but we do have hentai. Jeff Smarty obtained the Wanderlust trait. Yeah, no shit. The guy would rather be out there wandering around playing the fucking harp than lying down and not dying. He's got an immunity. That's good. His sleeping sickness is still ahead, though. Uber Chad? 65, 71. It's catching up, but it's bloody close still. Okay, I'm going to actually wake Chef Smarty up to tend to him because this is... Potentially life or death for Uber Chad. Oh, good. The shuttle all arrived for the freezer rat. We need this to be big, Uber Chad. We need this to be massive. Come on. Come on. Come on. 100% quality. He's up on the counter. He can't be stopped. Straight from the dresser. Straight into the wound. It's 100% 10 quality. 51. He's fucking dead. He's actually gone. It's in his kidney. We could pull it out. Wait until it gets to 90% infection. It might still be fine. Because he's in an actual hospital now, not just a bedroom. You know what? I think it's catching up. It is catching up. It's going to be fucking close, though. 
Let's either get to 95%, assess the situation then. If it's not looking any better, yank that kidney out. It's Chef Smarty, 72-year-old birthday. Well, 72 is a good life expectancy, isn't it, Chef Smarty? Uber Chad's downed. Where's that war merchant? Oh, we just need something to cheer us up at this point, eh? I'm going to trade a copious amount of firearms for hentai Joris. Take, take, take the lot, honestly. This is, this is a worthwhile trade. What if it's got a higher nuzzling time? <laughs> Sold. Now, we do have a get out of jail free card. I'm very anti resurrect maximums and remorse these days because I think it's just way too easy to, well, never die, never be, have a tense moment like this. We do, however, have something we can use, and that's Luciferium. We also, I believe, have one dose of the Luciferium Reverter. Do we still have it? I'm sure it's in the stop pile somewhere. I'm sure I could probably find it. But we do have Luciferium that we could throw at Uber Chad if it's looking like he dies. We've got to ask ourselves, are we okay with removing the kidney and making him more susceptible to all of the future diseases? Or would we rather just dose him up with Luciferium and accept the consequences? We've got 20 Luciferium. I can't find the Cherub Injector. I don't know where it is. It doesn't really matter. We can. Through the medium of loot boxes, and this is how they get you. Through the medium of loot boxes, we can cure Uber Chad's addiction with, well, more Luciferium, really. We would have to make a consistent amount of silver and gold, like a huge amount of silver and gold to be able to afford opening that many loot boxes to guarantee that we can get that we can get the Luciferium because it's not a guaranteed drop from any of them. It's a, it's a loot box. That's not how that works. I, I think it's necessary. I think this is a necessary evil. 92, 91. Come on. Let's, like I said, we'll take it up to 95%. Oh, look, it's... This is hell. He's still going to die. 96, 96. He, he could quite legitimately still die. Even if there's only a, a single game tick in it. Do we, get, do we take the gamble? Or do we just want to dose him up and be done with it? We're committing to it. 97% ticked up before the immunity did. On the infection rather than the immunity. It might tick up to a 97 now on immunity and 97 on infection, but if it doesn't, he dies. We what we quite literally will not have time to cancel this and restart the operation. Do it. Okay. Is that gonna kick how long does it take to kick in? That still might not be sufficient. Uh let's plan the operation to pull out his kidney then. What a mess. Uh kidney. Get that gone. Requires one medicine. Can we even do it? Can you do that with health medicine? You can. It's like a high fail rate, isn't it? Go. Fast. Run. How are we looking? 98. 97. Is he actually going to be fine? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 99. 98. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Holy shit. That was like 1.1% in it. Well, that was a little dangerous. <laughs> Never a doubt in my mind. I always knew he'd survive. Might have given Luciferum to the wrong bear because Chef Smarty still has that sleeping sickness problem. 21% uh, immunity, 22%. As long as we get on it now. As long as we get on it now. If we get any more raids, we're actually fucking dead. Like, we're done. A lot of people will watch this and say, you just wanted to feed the bear Luciferum. I would like to... Uh, I would like to not answer that question. My lawyer has advised me to, uh, to ignore that. <laughs> How are you doing? Ambrosia addicted animals. 88% immunity, 88% flu. And the infection in the right arm. 93% infection, 82% immunity. That arm's got to go. I'm sorry. That arm is absolutely coming off. When that, that, that one is not even up for debate like, uh, like Uber Chad was. Get rid of it. Go. Fast. How are we looking? 94%. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can make bionics. Well, I mean, we can't make bionics. We haven't got the resources to do it. But but it is possible to make bionics. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is going to be close to fairy as well. 93%, 94. The immunity is staying ahead. There's no reason now unless someone trips in a bunch of dirt into this room. Well, even then, it, the tending's already gone through, right? It only affects 10 quality. So she should be fine now. So I think everybody is legitimately somehow going to live. Uber Chan's back up on his feet. That's madness. We, we've actually done it. Well, honestly, that was... You shit, a secret raid. I wasn't listening out for the bloody combat music because we've already got these fucking sieging people. Are they going to go attack one another? Uh, yes. 
Oh, well, that saves us a little bit of time, eh? Anime mascot Joris, get in. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Uh, animal emergency. Oh, what about the quest for the fucking freezer rat? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, gentle fish mask. Uh, shot departs in 2.1 days. We're fine. We're fine. Shot will just hang around. Where is the shot? Where did it land? Uh, I mean, I could look at the quest log, I suppose. Uh, jump to shuttle. Oh, it's right there? Oh, okay, Derek. Uh, no, getting shot not allowed. <laughs> Sorry, sir. This is not for you. Problems are gonna solve one another again. That's quite nice. Let's throw any EMPs at people using rocks as weapons. That seems very, very ill-advised. Gordo, you almost got all of our people killed. Get out. Stinky little rat. We should have now, then, another silent for Derek, correct? Here we go. Derek, get over here. Boom. Upgrade. Level 3 Magician. That's quite the correct word for it. He knows Vertigo Pulse, Pain Block, Word of Serenity, Neural Heat Dump. They're already here. They went right through the fucking hole in the wall. Oh, God. Okay. Please hurry. Please hurry. Don't tell me this is cruel. It's a polar bear. It belongs in a freezer. It doesn't belong in a freezer, but you know what I mean. Please. Come on, guys. We don't need any more infections here. Let's just kill them fast. Stop. What is wrong with you? Hey, graveyard. Let's smash it up. Idiots. Chef Smarty. Chef Smarty's been side controlled. They've beckoned him. They've beckoned Dr. Joris. Shit, these fucking sidecasters. I forgot that they were quite this dangerous. They're fleeing. One group's fleeing. Oh, the coffin. Oh, well, never mind. It's just someone's wife. Don't worry about it. These sidecasters are actually such a game changer. You can't just build a... Oh, they got him in a whirlwind? What was that? They just did just have Smarty. I you might put them in every future mod pack because they're actually really cool. That's that's really fun because it means that if you build a kill box, they can just beckon your people out of the kill box. That's a, that's a hell of a play. Again, the Empire has access to this too, which is kind of horrifying. These idiots coming up now. Oh, send an Uber chat. Luciferium addicted. Uh, apparently mounted laser gun firing uber chad kill the lot kill the lot rum rum you've rummed your last run my friend they're fleeing as well of course they're fleeing they heard the name uber chad whispered on the wind oh that was a nail biting experience what a fun time <laughs> uh today there was no progress in fact i would argue progress was quite the opposite i wanted to build a church what i built was uh, maybe like a third of the foundation. Uh, we made a big thick wall, which is pretty good. We lost all our turrets. We were sieged by mechanoids and four lots of raiders. So this was, um, this was something. And someone was complaining in the comments yesterday, but don't get many raids in this mod pack. There you go. This one's dedicated to you, pal. Thank you all for watching. I need, I think I genuinely need to lie down after that. That was, um, I don't like juggling diseases. I think anybody likes juggling diseases. But you know who I do like juggling? It may or may not be the patrons. Thank you, patrons. A big shout out goes to Nikki Sticks, El Chalupa Cabra, Hualk, Chaos Undying, El Scorchio 82, Sign Mortar, Pancake 65, Chris Schenk, Blank, Pep Fiend, Rage Dragon, Michael Mullen, Moira, and Holy Reapers for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for keeping the channel going and possible, especially mid rebrand, which has had a significant impact on the analytics, but it was a necessary evil. Thank you to Therabees. Almadel Solomonus, Vegan Slayer, Aono, Calron24, Blackman00, Tessex, Unique Weapon, Matthew, Ben Ice Cream, House of Blues, Lucius Martius, GV, and Larry the Emu.